the ones I'm presenting to you are from Flatlist. These are not from Flatlist, but they're pretty much exactly the same uh, frame. Um, but these ones right here, like I said, or as you can tell, when you're when you're on these lives, you get 15% off, which is pretty awesome just by watching the show. But, you know, with this outfit, you know, for me, technically, I don't think it goes as well as like a classic look, you know, because these are very kind of like, you know, like, r not rapper, but like very like, I would say like hip hop, you know, like fashion forward, um, like fashion show type sunglasses, because they're like, they're, they're very uh, small rectangles. They're not like a big, they're not like a big circle like this, or they're not like the classic wafers like this, you know what I mean? So I would say this is a more modernized version of it. No, these aren't mirrored. These are like, these are brown lenses. So you can, if you get close enough, well, you can't really see because there's a glare in the back, but you can definitely, you know, see through them. It's like a, it's like almost like a brown, I want to say they're not mirrored though. I don't know the exact term for it, but they're not mirrored. However, I'm going to show you a, a little bit more of a modern outfit for this one. Something that I would wear for this. And if anybody has any questions like about the face shape stuff like that, um, let me know because I've done a decent amount of research on like face shape compatibility with glasses because I wear glasses like you know like I wear prescription glasses so I had to do a little bit of a uh, you know research on what would look good with my face so if you have any questions on it let me know All right, so don't judge me because this is clearly not, clearly not a summer outfit, but in general, like it's a much more, I would say, fashion forward type outfit, you know what I mean? So like, it's like a oversized cardigan, it's got a really more modernized neckline like this. Um, and I would think, I would say that this is a, this is like something you would see maybe like if you're walking around like New York or LA, maybe like a, like a fashion week, not like this outfit, <laughs> not this outfit itself, but like the shades and like the vibe of the whole outfit and stuff like that. Hello, hello, Silvana, how are you? Uh, yeah, these shades are pretty good. I'm presenting them to you right now. The ones that I'm presenting to you right now are more of a, um, I wanna say like a gradiated, like a gradient lens. So at the top is gonna be like a much more uh, sunglass lens, but at the bottom of the lens is going to be more clear. So it has like that gradient, that gr gradient when it comes to the lens. It's not these ones exactly, but you know, it's the same exact frame, same exact deal. These ones are more brown, but you know, that's just at least two ways you could style these types of glasses. Now, when it comes to, I'm just going to talk about it because I think it's actually pretty important. Excuse me, the whole um, face shape compared to the frame shape issue. And not a lot of people think about it. So you want your glasses to fit you, like fit you and your face, like proportionally. You don't want like, an, you don't want, you don't want glasses that are going to be like this, you know, you don't want glasses that are going to be like this. You also don't want, I mean, I guess if you're going for it, you don't want glasses, they're going to be like this. So you want glasses that are going to, you know, fit your face the way that they're meant to fit. Also, you don't want ones that are you know, going to be out here. <laughs> you don't want ones that are going to be too narrow because then it's, you're just going to look off. You know what I mean? So when it comes to your face shape, when it comes to the frames, like I said a little bit, like a little while ago, um, if you have an oval face shape, Typically, you can wear any style of frame. You can do square, you can do rectangle, you can do geometric, you can do circle, just because uh, the oval face is the most 
flattering in terms of like uh, geometric shapes. Are sunglasses produced sustainable and ethically? Um, yeah, the, certain brands you'd have to, I mean, that's, that's, that's a question that can be researched um, 100%, but I guarantee you, I don't know any of them off the top of my head just because I'm not good with name brands like that, but I guarantee you there are um, recycled plastics, recycled metals, um, and sustainable uh, practices and sustainable um, materials used in uh, creating glasses, sunglasses, etc. 100%, um, depending on what you consider sustainable and what you can consider ethical, uh, yeah, I would 100% with certainty say yes certain brands do have um a more sustainable and ethical side to them like i said i don't necessarily know them off the top of my head but uh, if you do um just a quick little google search i guarantee you a, bu a bunch are going to pop up for you there um but yeah when i was talking about the face shape stuff so if you have like a more square face or a more um you know square face being your very defined jawline, very defined cheekbones, and very defined forehead. Like it's, you know, you can actually see, you know, the squareness of it. Then you want to go opposite to tract. You want to go with a um, more circular frame. Something like this would look amazing on you. You're very welcome, Johnny. Um, if you are the opposite, if you have a very round face, if you have very round cheeks, round jaw, then you want to go with something that gives you a lot of definition. You want to give, you want to go with something that gives your face actual shape to it rather than that roundness. So you don't, you will not want to go with round frames with a round face. You want to go with square frames with a square face. Um, luckily for me, I have an oval face so I could wear, you know, square or circle, but that doesn't mean that I wear them any better than anybody else. Anybody can do this, male or female, um, or whatever you identify as. Uh, so there's no issue there. Just take a quick little glance at your face if you recognize it being more square. Go with a rounder frame. If you recognize it being more uh, round, go with a square frame. There you go. Pretty simple. Opposites attract. Um, these ones, let me get these shown for you guys. We're going back to the, um, actually, let me show you, no, yeah, I'll do these ones. Uh, we're going back to the very, very, very classic look. These are the classic waferers, and I'm going to go with these ones. I'm going to show you them right now. <laughs> 